What's going on guys? Gadgets123 here. Appreciate all the uh, views you guys are giving me. Give me, uh, if you guys can, give me a thumbs up on my videos. I <laughs> really like that. Um, I do uh, I, I do appreciate, um, even though we're a new channel, we are getting a lot of views, which is great. i um, trying to bring you, you know, good content and hopefully stuff that will help you guys out. Uh, either in uh, purchasing, you know, gadgets <laughs> or, um, you know, phone repair um that I usually I commonly do get from uh, customers so I'm gonna bring you an issue that I've been getting uh, and customers been bringing and you guys might have uh, um, something similar to this and hopefully this will help you bypass now mind you this is a paid service now let me repeat that paid service I use a website which I'm gonna link in the description that I pay ten dollars to get this removed I'm just straight off the bat telling you if you guys don't want to pay ten dollars, look for other videos that uh, do it free. I the the reason I pay ten dollars to to this company is because um you know I don't get one phone I get tons of phones and, and there are I mean I I try to YouTube this and see if I could find like a free way of doing it and there's so much work you have to download this do that I don't want to do none of that stuff I would rather just pay ten dollars put the um, serial number of the phone and that's it. A um, couple hours later, the phone is ready to go. Okay, so if you guys want to, uh, full disclosure, I have nothing to do with this website. I just use them because they're quick, easy, and it costs me 10 bucks, and I'm done. I don't have to worry about it. So, just letting you guys know. Um, so, if you guys want to use them, use them. If you guys want to look for free ways of doing it, um, good luck. There are, you know, free ways. Just Google it and see if you can find some free um, ways of removing this issue from the iPhones. Okay, so let me get started so a lot of people come to my um shop with iphones now it could be company iphone it could be an iphone from a work uh, from a job they had maybe an iphone they found maybe an iphone they purchased from craigslist or whatever and um you know it worked everything was good to go they you know for some reason either got it like this or reset it the phone and what happens is i'll show you right now they get this problem the remote management uh, error message okay so when you get the remote management error message um you know if you reset the phone if you do a factor reset and go to the welcome screen you're gonna get there's no way there's no way around it okay it's like an, an apple id lock except that it's you know there is a way to bypass it but you cannot remove it as far as i know you cannot remove it it's always going to be there but you could bypass it unlike the apple id which you know, once you're stuck there, that's it, you're stuck. There might be other ways I've seen them in YouTube, but good luck trying to find a way to get rid of them. Um, yeah, I haven't found one yet. But in regards to the MDM logs, the remote management log, um, the error matches uh, you just saw, there are ways to bypass that. Um, so let me show you what I mean by that. So this is, let me bring this laptop here. And let me just move this. Now, don't worry about looking at the screen in regards to the link. I'm going to link that also in the description. And I'll show you how this this whole process works. Hopefully, we can do this quickly. All right. So, um, this is the website that I use. Basically, it's an uh, Apple MDM bypass server. All you have to do is put the serial number of the phone here. Okay. Once you put the serial number of the phone... Um, you pay them. It's ten dollars. You pay them. again. I, full disclosure. I have nothing to do with this website. I just use them because they're really good. They're fast, and um, I haven't had any, any issues. I had dozens of phones like this, and you know it, uh, it works. So if it works, shoot, I'd rather pay ten dollars and, and, and go from there. So, anyways, um, again, all you have to put in there is the UDI or serial number. Best thing to do is just look for the serial number. So if, if you're stuck in this home screen, okay, all you have to do is press this little I button right here. So I'll press it. And then what, what happens is, eh, let me just cover some of this stuff. So what, what happens is you're going to get the information. You're going to get the, um, you know, the serial number, um, IMEI, and so forth. So what you have to do is just, you know, put the um, serial number. Again, you get it by pressing on this little I button. Because if you're in the welcome screen, you're definitely going to see this little I button all the way down here. Hopefully you could see that. Okay. So when you put that in, you you, you type in the the um, the serial number. 
Okay, so you, you type in the serial number, blah, 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 you let it go, and you're good to go. Pay them. Okay, once you pay them, you have to go to the next step. Now, the next step is um, go to um, iTunes. Okay, we have to format the phone. Now, what, what do I mean by formatting? What you have to do is um, do a recovery on the phone because before you do that unlock uh, code, you have to format the phone and then plug it in, download their software, and click OK, and it's good to go. Now, remember, you have to first put in the serial number, pay them. After you pay them, you go through PayPal, you know, you pay them, it sends you back to the web page, you're done with them. You're done with that website for now, okay? So I already did it. So for instance, let's say I put in the serial number, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Buy now with PayPal. Um, it's telling me to fill out. I'm not going to do it, but I already did it again. You buy now with PayPal. It takes you to the PayPal uh, page. You, you put in your, you know, if you have PayPal, you just put in your information. You want to pay these guys $10? Yes. And then it says, okay, now you, you we're going to send you back to the web page. And then they send you back to this page. Okay. Once you pay them, you're done for now. You get out of here. You go now. You open your iTunes account. Okay, so what we're gonna do is give me a minute. I'm gonna look for a uh, charging cable. Here we go, charging cable. I don't know if you can see it. All right. So once we're here, uh, we're going to plug in the phone. All right. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Give me a quick minute, guys. There we go. So you plug in the phone, and again, the phone is not going to be recognized because it has that, you know, it's stuck on that MDM screen. Okay? So again, it's not going to get recognized. It's just going to be stuck. Since this phone is uh, it's supervised by another computer and cannot be used, that's fine. Okay? So what we're going to do is the following. We're going to press the, um, the power and the home button. Okay, and so the power, home button, forget about these two buttons, at the same time, okay, and count till 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go of the home button, I mean let go of the power, keep holding the home button. There you go. Now, do you see iTunes has detected this phone in recovery mode? You must restore the phone before you can use this with iTunes, okay? So, we're going to do a recovery on this. Now, remember, the screen is going to be black. Nothing on the screen. It's completely black. Okay, then we're going to do a restore phone. It says, do you want to restore an update? Yes. So, we're going to let the phone restore. I'm going to pause it for now. Um, to save you, uh, to save you um, time. But again, you cannot restore it the regular way because it's not going to let you because it has that empty and lock. It's going to give you that error message. You have to restore it by doing that. Home button and power button together. Ten seconds. Let go of the power button. Keep holding on the home button until you see the the message that said recovery, and then let it do its thing. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, it's uh, extracting software. So. Um, you know, for you guys, it's probably instant because I, I paused the video. So, again, there's a very um, important part you have to go through here um, that uh, you can't skip. Because if you do, you have to format the phone again and it's not going to work. Alright, so I'm going to show it to you right now. Uh, let's give it a minute. I think it's almost done here. Alright, guys. Now you see the Apple... I'll put it right there. All right. See the little apple? Lo okay. So it's doing its right thing. It's doing the um, usual formatting. You're gonna see a message here that says uh, the phone has been completed. It's been completely uh, restored, and it's gonna be a 10-second countdown. You have to unplug it before the 10 seconds are up. Why is that? I don't know, guys. I'm just, you know, going by the instructions. Basically, you have to unplug it, and you're done with iTunes. That's it for iTunes. You did the restore. You cannot let iTunes re-recognize um, re the phone again, so you have to unplug it. So, I'm going to show you. Don't worry, guys. 
I'm going to show you what I mean in a minute. It's still restoring, so let's give it another minute or two. And I want to take this time to uh, thank all you guys, um, you know, supporting the channel. You guys have anything you guys want me to post? Um, you know, any kind of questions on phones? You know, um, I, I don't, again, I don't know if if you want me to post any kind of videos to test if, let's say, um, a cricket phone works with AT and T or a simple mobile phone works with T-Mobile. I'll post it. I mean, I'll I have a lot of phones. I have a lot of models, and I don't mind posting these good things for you guys. Um, you know, I. I I do a lot of work from from home, and I have a lot of uh, time in regards to the the phones I have. So, posting videos um, that you guys might want to see, um, I don't mind posting. Just um, you know, if you guys could do me a favor and, and support the channel, hey, that's all I ask. All right, fellas, um, ladies and gents. I mean, <laughs> so um, again, let this finish. Let's see what happens. Um, again, hopefully, it's done pretty quickly here. So let's give it a minute. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> vid, uh, the uh, phone is almost done. As you can see, it's almost done here. We should get to see that message in a minute. Um, after that message, I'm going to end the video because, um, again, since my channel is kind of new, I can only post like 15-minute videos, nothing more. Okay, so here we go. You see how it's counting down? Eight, seven, six, five. You could unplug it already. I'm going to unplug it. So you see, my phone is already unplugged iTunes did not recognize the phone again after the restore. That's what you need to do. You need to unplug it when you see that message. And that's it. You're done with iTunes. You don't have to work with iTunes again. You're done with it. You don't have to worry about that. All right, guys, for now, I'm going to end the video. Um, go to part two. The reason is because, again, um, you know, I can only put it in like 15 minute blocks. Uh, if you guys know how to change that, let me know. I'm pretty new to YouTube and stuff. So again, um, I'm going to end this video now. Go to part two and I'll show you what the next step is, which is pretty much the easy parts. Um, don't worry, it seems long because I'm putting two videos. I want to explain to you as easy as possible. Second step, simple. It's just download one, one quick thing that's saying you're ready to go. You connect it, pow, you're done. All right, check out my other videos. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. If you guys uh, finish this video, thank you. Go to part two so you could see the end and uh, we'll get this phone uh, restored and completed all right what's gonna happen now before I let you guys go is it's gonna restore and it's gonna go back to the welcome screen okay so we'll, we'll be at the welcome screen um, on this phone um, and then we'll go to downloading this MDM that they want you to download so you could um, you know connect it and then bypass the MDM all right guys thanks